James says, love your content. Great. Thanks, James. So I have questions about service pages and H1s. I have location service pages created where it's targeting nearby cities that the store is not located. Keyword plus city as the H1. Okay. For the service pages that are listed on the navigation bar, linked directly to the main page, should they include the city location of where the store is located for the H1, even though I want to target nearby city? Or should I leave it off? For example, should the service page linked directly to the main page H1 be service plus city of where the store is located or service only? Um, you know, it, it, it's hard to give you an exact answer without knowing more about that particular project. So I'm just going to point to, once again, my own site. So it, it, maybe you can just model this. But you can see, like, for example, I have a services page. The services page is not optimized for any one location. You understand this is a multi-location business, but it's the services page is not optimized for any one location. It's optimized for the services only and the brand because you should always append the brand to every page on the site, full stop, okay? Uh, but then I have my location, which are actually posts. But like, for example, I'll go into Charlottesville, Virginia. Now we see... What do we see? We see the, the, the location page, the SEO title is optimized for keyword plus city. The H1 is optimized for city plus keyword, right? And it's referencing and linking to the service page. These are all jump links. So again, just so you know, like for example, if I just click on tree removal, I'm gonna open link a new tab. It's, it jumps directly to, it's the services page, but it just jumps to the tree removal section of the page. So do you understand what we're doing here? We are forcing associations between the city page and the services, but the service page is not optimized for any one city because there's multiple cities that this brand is targeting, right? So what I'm saying is um, the location post should be optimized for the location or page, whatever it is. As I showed you before with, again, we'll just scroll down to the Charlottesville area and we'll click on this one, right? So this would be, it's optimized for location plus keyword, right? Location plus keyword. But this, the, the service page is optimized just for services. I don't know if that's clear, but this is a really good strategy, guys, that kind of resolves that problem with trying to have separate service plus city pages for every service for every city, right? Now we have one services page. And then we have all of our city pages where we just provide a summary of the services, but we link to the services page from every city page. We're forcing the associations between the services and the location. Um, I don't know if that's clear or not, but you know, I, I've tried to demonstrate that dozens and dozens and dozens of times with this keyword here, right? So tree service, Newburgh, Kentucky. We were talking about Kentucky earlier, right? Again. Newberg Tree Service, Grim Reaper Tree Services, that's my site, follows the same sort of format that I was just describing. We want, there's, in this case, I have four separate service pages, but on any one of the uh, city pages, like this one's optimized for Newberg, Kentucky, I link to each of the service pages. And that's how I can rank this one page for, and that's, that's one site. There's another one right here that is, uh, look at that, I got pushed to number three. Um, Tree Maintenance Newberg, again, this is a different brand, similar type of site structure, same thing. We've got, in this case, there's four different service pages. I don't like to do that anymore. I try to combine them all into one. But then each separate service page, like Newberg, for example, it links to each of those, or excuse, each separate location page links to each of the services. And so as I've described or uh, demonstrated many, many times, just take a look at the, how this works, right? So again, Grim Reaper Tree Services. Felling Pro, they're, that's these two sites here that you're looking at, guys. They're very similar sites, different brands. One's built on high level, one's built in WordPress. Similar site structure where I just played with rearranging the SEO title in H1 and the first H2. I just played with different configurations on how I arrange those things. And why is this one always outranking the other one? Well, because this one's WordPress and this one down here, Felling Pro is on high level. And Google favors WordPress over high level sites any day of the week. Uh, it's just better code. It's, it's it's better optimized code. That makes sense. So I just pointing that out because again, if we take any one of these keywords here, any one of the services, you'll see this one location page ranks for all of those services. 
Why? Because I created the association between that location page and all of the services. Even though these in these examples, they're separate service pages, I can still associate the one location page with all of those services. So I can rank the one location page for all of the keywords. Does that make sense? That's what I'm doing here. Like again, coming back over here, uh, I did, I showed tree trimming, right? Let's go look at tree removal. Again, Newberg, uh, excuse me, Grim Reaper Tree Services, Felling Pro. See one page ranking for all of the services because of the way that I associated those together, those pages together. And I, I mean, I could go through here and just show you pay like, so keyword after keyword after keyword. I've done this a number of times. Tree cutting, again, Grim Reaper Tree Services, Felling Pro, Stump Grinding, Stump Removal, Arborist Service, uh, Land Clearing. Go, Guys, go do it on your own. You'll see. Page ranked, 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 ranked. Why? Because, again, it's the way that you create the 4 C associations. So that's what I would do is I would have a service page optimized for the service. Guys, again, go back and model my build and see what I'm talking about, right? In this case, it's one service page with jump links to each of the separate services instead of having separate service pages. I prefer this method because it's one page as opposed to having multiple pages for the services. These are all synonymous with each other. Hopefully that's clear.